Hello guys, welcome in this new video. We will talk about LTE and PMR um, MCPTT POC push to talk over cellular. And is it possible to interconnect two network, two different network, uh, to have an interconnection between both network, two network from two different manufacturers. First, an uh, information. I'm preparing uh, um, an online training, online course to learn more about privacy used on DMR, DPMR and XDN network to learn more about basic privacy, Scrambler, ITER basic privacy, Motorola basic privacy. This will be uh, a specific course based on this network to know how they works and to know specifically this type of encryption how how they are done how they works how uh, is does it protect does it uh, is it a good protection and is it a good thing to use it on your network this online course will be placed online will be available it's a paid feature naturally but will be available probably at the end of march 2023 or maybe on april March, April, I don't have any uh, specific, uh, my planning is a bit more, uh, uh, I'm, I have a, a full load on this, on my planning, so I'm trying to, to, to do my best to publish this online course as uh, soon as possible, as fast as possible. Let's go back to our problematic, how to interconnect two LT network from two different manufacturers. I will talk you, I will um, show you three solutions which, I, uh, which are possible for me to interconnect this network and to, uh, to have a good, uh, to ensure a good working of these two LT network. I will show you just now, but before credits. Okay, how to interconnect two LT network from two different manufacturers? Let's imagine a customer issue. This is one or more company. Their company should merge themselves, should have a partnership, uh, should share their network. But all of these network, each companies or each team in the same company use its own 4G LTE network. For example, in this issue, one use one company or one team is using ICOM, ICOM LTE product, and the others is using Motorola, Motorola Wave LTE product. This is an arbitrary example. Uh, you can uh, you can check. Uh, you, you know, this is on arbitrary for this example. You can have, a, I didn't choose any, um, I could choose any other manufacturer, but in this case, it's become a Motorola. Let's suppose these are these two Motorola. What, how is it possible to interconnect? Three solutions. Solution number one, the poor man solution, because it's a low price solution, just take two terminals, two LTE terminals, and interconnect these two terminals by using a cable. For example, here an ICOM LTE product, a Motorola LTE product, interconnect these two uh, specific cable, uh, these two terminals by using a specific cable which carries the audio, audio signal, um, the PTT, the squelch, activate void, Vox functionality, this is very simple. Just use um, just use an audio cable. You will probably lose some audio quality, but with this functionality, you will be able to interconnect two different LTE networks from two 
different manufacturers. What are the benefits and the disadvantage of this solution? Benefits, very easy to implement. Ridiculous cost, just cost uh, two terminals and one specific cable. And for me, it's compatible with all brands or almost all brands because uh, it need, you need to have the correct and the right input outputs. For example, PTT, Squelch, Vox functionality are mandatory. The audio cable is mandatory. If you, uh, for example, if you want to uh, interconnect a smartphone, an uh, Android smartphone with uh, an LTE solution from Ecom, Kenwood, uh, Ecom, Motorola, and any other manufacturer, it will be difficult because you don't have access to the input, uh, to, the, to the audio, you don't have access to the PTT, you don't have access to Squelch. So for me, it's compatible for almost all brands, but not all. You must have the correct input output. Disadvantage, you will only get the audio, no data. No SMS, no identifier, no alarms, nothing. Just the audio will be passed through this uh, audio cable. And it may require the use of an additional electronic circuit to, to manage the temporization, to manage the time. For example, when, um, when somebody stops to, stop to transmit, maybe you want to continue like a relay, like an al analog relay, to continue to maintain the emission, to maintain the transmission. And this requires a tempo management, a timing management of uh, between the both terminals. It's not mandatory, but it could be more comfortable for users uh, when, uh, when connecting, when interconnecting both, terminal, both terminals. It's, um, well, it's, it's, not, um, it's not a disadvantage, but not mandatory. Then, solution number two, more professional solution. Use a manufacturer IP gateway. Some manufacturers, for example, here, Icom and Motorola, made their own gateway. Here, this is a gateway to interconnect uh, LTE solutions from Icom with satellites connection, with uh, NXDN or DPMR connection or analog connections, analog PMA reduce. This is a gateway specific for it. You may interconnect to uh, to get away by using your own server, this is an IP server, a computer, to, uh, to check what is passing, uh, what data are passing on the two, to, 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 to concentrate all data on your own server based on the getaway. This could, this is not technically uh, realizable. It depends of what API are available. For example, ICOM VE PG4. If there are some uh, I API available on the um, on the system, and do is it possible to interconnect these API, API with the same APIs on the Motorola Way? For example, TT three seven zero five A gateway. May be compatible, maybe not. It's a technically a bit more complex uh, solution, technically a bit more better, but maybe it's not. It depends of what APIs, what interface are available, and what is authorized to do with these two system. But if you can have access to the API to get the audio, to get the data from your network, you will be able, by interfacing your own server, to have a good interconnection between the two systems. What are the benefits and the disadvantages of these solutions? Benefits, you should, you should, it's not a, it's not a verity, an absolute verity, but you should allow data to pass in addition to audio. You will have to audio uh, in all the case, but data you should be able to have the audio in addition to uh, in addition by using this type of solution. This solution appears as 
a bit more professional than the poor's man solution presented just before. And the disadvantage, may, it may require some specific IT development, soft software development to, to have your own server here. This should prob you, you, sh you probably uh, will have some additional cost to make specific IT development. It's not always technical feasible because it depends of what API, what interface are available and if it's possible to get the audio, to get the data, and how is it possible to get it. If it's not possible, if it, it's totally totally cloud system, you won't be able to interconnect the both getaway. Uh, it may require a computer maintenance, some admi uh, an administrator, a developer, to if some APIs APIs changes after a firmware evolution, after a firmware upgrade, you will be able to, um, to adapt the new interface to your current software. So you will probably require computer maintenance uh, additional developer. And this is a more expensive solution than the man's, the poor man's solutions. It's logical. One this uh, this gateway costs approximately 1000 to 3000 euros approximately this is the cost which i saw by looking on the internet so it's a bit more higher than buying only one DM one uh, lt terminals and now solution number three this is the richmond solution but i don't know if it's technically feasible it's, it's, if it's realizable this is a direct interconnection of manufacturer LTE servers. Here you have the LTE servers of each manufacturer, Motorola here on the right, ICOM LTE server on the left. And the solu this solution consists of have your own server to connect your own server directly to the ICOM server on the APIs of ICOM server and in the other way to directly connect to the Motorola Wave server if they accept to have an external connection, it's not guaranteed. And this, by using your server, the, uh, the, the, the stream will pass through your server and you will be able to get all audio, all data and to have a more complex, uh, um, more functionalities in terms of data getting data, getting uh, GPS position, getting uh, alarms, getting um, identifier of each terminals, uh, getting the different talk group, uh, organizing talk groups. This is the best solution, the rich man solution, but it's not technical. It may be not technically possible due to security issues and due to hermetic, uh, hermetic infrastructure or uh, closed tools and, or closed server by the, uh, by the, um, imposed by the all, uh, all manufacturers. This benefits and disadvantage of these solutions, benefits interconnect all flows, all streams, audio, data, terminal identifier, alarms, SMS, geolocalization is a GPS, cold groups, subgroups, if you have some subgroup, you can adapt anything, any um, specific feature of your network in terms of group organization, etc, etc. This is the main advantage, but the disadvantage, it requires specific IT development. This is mandatory. You must have your own server, you will have to develop your own tools and your own infrastructure. And this is the most complex solution, but not always technically feasible because it required access to the API, to the, com to the manufacturer's interface, and it is subject to acceptance by a manufacturer. Maybe some manufacturers will refuse to open the APIs of their own server for competitive and security uh, reasons. So, it may be not technically feasibility. 
uh, it's mandatory to have oh sorry it's not a good translation but it will be uh, mandatory to have uh, an a specific administrator and a specific team of developer to adapt uh, the API because the, the server of all manufacturer will be upgraded regularly and uh, you will probably should have to uh, make some evolution and upgrade on your specific tool on your specific server here to adapt your server and your tool to the evolutions and upgrade of all manufacturers so it's mandatory this is an expensive solution in terms of development in terms of maintenance in terms of teams so this solution for me is reserved for big companies with a big network with big uh, needs and uh, if you are a small company don't take it it's it will be probably too too high too expensive for you now uh, i have finished this is the conclusion uh, interconnect different lte network it's possible uh, it's up to you to choose the most suitable solution for you i can help you if needed don't hesitate to contact me i have um, a request for any manufacturer if you are looking for the um, if you are looking for this video uh, i'm looking for uh, some hardware to test in lte solutions and i my proposal is to get for free the um, the hardware for example an icom uh, here an icom getaway or a motorola wave getaway or any gateway to make my own test and to talk about this gateway for free on my youtube channel to make some videos so if you are interested uh, if you give me some uh, materials some hardware i will be uh, happy to make for free videos for you don't hesitate to contact me all links are below the video or we you will find me on linkedin on twitter on uh, on youtube on this is on on my uh, internet um, internet website so if you want to have some videos for free about your uh, your hardware and uh, your material and uh, your solutions don't hesitate to contact me and to send me some some uh, some material some hardware now this is the the end of uh, this video final word just thanks for watching and stay tuned and uh, have a look on the next uh, so sorry see you on the next video bye bye